Hi there, today I'm just going to quickly show you how to make this uh, banner ribbon type object. The um, process is really easy and uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to set our colours. Now we're going to turn off stroke and we're just going to make the fill colour, well, I'm going to make it a blue, you can make it whatever you want. And, um, and then we're going to come up to our rectangle tool and we're just going to draw out a little rectangle, but yeah, big. Now next we're just going to copy that rectangle and then we're just going to paste it in front by pressing Ctrl C then Ctrl F and I'm just going to make that rectangle a darker blue and just using my direct selection tool which is the white pointer tool over here I'm just going to click and holding shift just select these two end anchor points like that and then just using the arrow keys and the shift button on my keyboard I'm just going to hold down shift and I'm just going to press the left arrow key to push it over to the side and I'm just going to drop that down as well a little bit like so now I'm going to send that shape to the back it's by pressing control shift left square bracket on your keyboard and that should put it behind the shape like that so as you can see we've already got the first part of our ribbon banner thing going um, next we're just going to put off the little pointy bits in the end so to do that we're just going to grab our selection tool and we're just going to click this front object here and press ctrl C and ctrl F now I'm just going to grab deselect that shape and um, making sure that I have my smart guides turned on if you don't have them turned on just press ctrl U um, good way to find out you don't have them on is when you hover over a corner you won't get this little anchor thing that pops up but what I want to do is I just want to hover over that corner and then grab the shape by the corner anchor and just bring it down and snap it onto the bottom anchor of this shape at the back here like so and again I want to send that to back so press Control shift um, left square bracket there we go now I'm just gonna make this shape here a darker shade of blue but not as dark as the one in between just so we can differentiate it. So I'm just going to drag the little colour thing over a little bit. There we go, that'll do. Now, I'm going to shrink that square down a bit. So I'm just going to, using my directional tool, just drag it and bring it probably about to there. Now I want to make this little point in here. Now, to do this, I'm going to bring up my rulers by pressing Ctrl R. And that should bring your rulers up at the top here. And I'm just going to drag down a guide from the ruler and just snap it onto the center of that square there like so and that way I know exactly where the center is of my um, of this line here is now to to push in a little triangle in there I'm going to add a point to this path right in the middle of it and we're going to come up to our pen tool and we're just going to click and hold it and just select the add anchor point tool and we're just going to come down and we're just going to click right there with the palm where the guide intersects the path and then using our direct selectional tool we're just going to select that point and then again using our shift button and arrow keys on our keyboard we're just going to push that in like that and there we go we have half of our banner ribbon all made up okay so for the next step what we're going to do is we're going to copy this shape and we're going to flip it around and then join it all together so um, all I'm going to do is grab my pointer tool up here or pressing V on the keyboard and just select all we have there and I'm just going to go control C and then control F to paste in place all right and then I'm going to come up to my transform dialog box if you don't have this you can easily find it in your window drop down menu and it should be just right there or you can hit shift F8 so in my transform dialog box I'm going to come over to this little drop down menu here and I'm just going to click flip horizontal and you notice it's going to flip it but it's stick it on the other side of what you have which is probably not what we want so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to group what we have there together so we don't lose everything by pressing Control and G and then I'm just going to drag it over here like so and then deselect it now using my pointer tool I'm just going to hover over this anchor point here and I'm going to grab it from the anchor point and then just come over and snap it on to the corresponding anchor point on this shape here and then just release there you go and now they all should line up smart guides are really good for that they'll snap everything and keep everything in line 
Now next we're going to join these two using a Pathfinder merge tool. So I'm just going to select this and degroup it by pre or ungroup it by pressing Control Shift G, and then just select these two middle rectangles here, and then just come up to my Pathfinder dialog box and then holding Alt, I'm going to press this first shape mode right here, and now merge the two together like so. All right, so that's pretty much our ribbon all done. Now, you could leave it like that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this a little step further and I'm going to add some stitching to it, just along the edges, just to make it look a little bit more fancy and, you know, stand out from your average ribbon. So um, to do this, I'm just going to select this top shape here, and I'm just going to copy it by pressing Ctrl-C, and then I'm going to paste it in front by pressing Ctrl-F, and then I'm going to switch the fill and stroke around by pressing Shift-X. And you'll notice that it'll put a blue stroke on this uh, shape that's sitting on front now. Um, I'm just going to change that color to yellow. And then I'm going to shrink the shape down just from the top and bottom. So to do this, I'm just going to hold Alt and then come to the center of the shape here. And then drag these little arrows down like that. And we're just going to bring it down like so. So now we're just going to add in the dashed line effects. So I'm just going to select this box here and I'm just going to come over to my stroke dialog box. I'm going to increase the stroke size to about two point and I'm going to tick this little dash line box here and I'm just going to punch in values four, and four dash and a four gap. And as you can see we're already getting our dotted line going on that but I want to delete these ones on the edge. So to do this what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my direct selection tool and I'm just going to click on this line from the outside here. And when you click on that line, it'll select just that line, and you can quite happily press the delete button, like so. And you'll see it'll get rid of that line. Now, I'm just going to click on the outside so we deselect it, um, and then just so we deselect any other points, it might have automatically selected after deleting that line. And then I'm just going to come down the other side and do the exact same thing, just select that line and hit delete. And voila, I'll just hide the guide there, so we press control C to column. And there you go, we've already got the stitching on our top part. Now I want to do the exact same for this bottom, bottom two squares here. So to do that, I could either copy and paste these down and resize it to fit, or I could do the exact same step with this shape here. But to be easy, I'm just going to copy and paste this one and just bring it down. So I'm just going to use my direct sectional tool and select those two shapes there, and just go Control C, Control F, and then just using the arrow keys and the Shift button, drop it down like that, and we'll just bump them over till they fit and just resize them in like so and I'm just going to send them back by pressing control uh, square left bracket and that should send them back yeah, you have to press that a few times to send them back to the right, right area alright and I'm just going to select those two there and go control C control F and just push it over using the right arrow key and the shift button and just bring them forward by pressing control right square bracket and we might have to press that just twice there you go and there you have it we have our little shape with the two little stitchings on it now I'm just going to adjust those a little bit because I'm not entirely too happy with those I'm just a bit too far in for my liking so I'm just going to punch them out like that there you go that looks a bit better you can play around with it as much as you want you don't have to be fussy but I just like to adjust things a little bit, the end of it. There we go, that's looking better. So there you have it. Now I've just added in a bit of text, you can add in whatever you want in there, pretty easy to do. And uh, yeah, um, if you found this tutorial helpful, feel free to hit the like button, that always helps. And uh, also subscribe, I do plan on making a lot more of these, and uh, yeah, have a nice day.